Hey party people, um, it's Sunday night, I just got home from mass, from work and mass. Um, I go to mass at 7 o'clock at night instead of in the morning on Sundays. Um, so it's kind of late, but I'm wicked tired and uh, I was going to do this video last night, but I worked a double yesterday. I worked 9 to 10 at night. Um, uh, in case you're wondering where I work, I work for, I'm not going to say the name of the company, but I work for the leading competitor to Sephora. Um, and uh, so we're doing holiday hours. And I am in their salon, but um, I don't work in the retail end. But anytime the store is open, the salon has to be open. So I worked a double yesterday. So when I got home, my love knitting package arrived in the mail. So I was way too tired last night to um, do a video. So I thought I would show you guys this video. So um, as you guys know, um, I need more yarn the way I need a hole in the head. Um, but like I had said in my previous video, I was making a cardigan for, um, one of our fellow YouTubers, um, as a surprise gift and I was playing yarn chicken and I lost, um, and the yarn I was using was, um, the Sardar wash and wear double crate. Um, DK um, in shade uh, 0373 um, it's like a pretty green um, so it's the wash and wear double crepe and I had gotten this a long time ago from Kemp's when Kemp's had a sale um, they were selling um, 10 packs. So I had gotten a 10 pack of it. Um, you know, and they're 50 gram balls, um, 148 yards a ball, 55% uh, acrylic and 45% nylon. Um, so, um, I've been trying to find this yarn because all I needed is a couple balls to finish the sleeves. All I have is two balls of this left. Um, and the cardigan's done. I just need to crochet the sleeves. Um, but two balls is not good. Two 50 gram balls is not going to make two sleeves. Um, and I have looked everywhere and I cannot find the Sirdar Wash and Wear Double Crepe. Um, Deramores sells it. They don't... Every time I go on their website, um... They're out of stock. So I've had no luck with them. And we all know how I feel about Deramores when it comes to how long it takes them to ship something to you. So I went on to Love Knitting and they have what they call Sirdar Number no. One. And they say it's similar to the Wash and Wear Double Crepe. So while I was on there, I ordered some balls. So that's what's in this giant box. And I'm very happy that Love Knitting finally sent me a box. Um, in the past, when I used to order from them, they used to send those, um, those bags, those plastic bags um, that I'm terrified to cut into. Um, and so I'm happy that they're using corrugated cardboard. The only thing I noticed was... Um, I was kind of bummed, so I used to be able, there's loveknitting.com, and then there used to be loveknitting.co.uk, and I used to be able to access the British site, uh, you know, you know, and order from the UK, and the reason I preferred ordering from the UK as opposed to ordering from here in the States was I could get things like my 40 centimeter, um, you know, 16 inch long knitting needles which we can't get here in the states but for some reason um 
I can only access the US website, so I, I need to play around and see um, if I can somehow override the .com and have it send me to the UK website, because they used to ship to the United States. Um, and I didn't have to go through the, the United States company. But anyways, obviously when I was on the website, I didn't just order the Sardar yarn because I couldn't help myself. Um, and like I've said, I need more yarn the way I need a hole in the head. Um, but I couldn't help myself, so I got a couple of other things. Um, and I actually, let's see what I got. Oh. So that's actually really pretty. Hmm. So this is the Sirdar number one. And I love that Love Knitting does these organza bags. That's another reason I love ordering from them. So this is the Sirdar number one. Um, and it's a paler. It looks yellow in my screen for some reason, but it is a green. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stripe the sleeves, and then I'll do the button placard in this green as well. Um, and I'm thinking maybe I didn't need to order five balls, because it seems like it's got way more yardage. Um, it feels so soft. So, so soft. So it's a 100 gram ball. Um, it's a double knit. What else do they say about it? 50% acrylic and 50% nylon. And this one was, what did I say this one was? Um, 55% acrylic and 45% nylon. So the fiber content is almost identical. The only thing is um, you get 230 yards to the 100 gram ball as opposed to 148 yards to the um, 50 gram ball. Um, so I probably should have just ordered like two of these, but I got five. So I'll have plenty of left over. Um, I didn't realize I ordered enough to make a garment. Um, and it's funny because I mean the construction of the yarn, it's a, it's like a smidgen finer than the double crepe. But it's spun, it's spun just like the wash and wear. And anybody who's ever worked with a crepe yarn, um, what crepe yarn means is it, anybody who knows spinning, is it's spun with extremely high twist um, so that the yarn coils back on itself, if you're familiar with spinning yarn. Um, and what that does is it makes a harder wearing, longer wearing yarn. Um, crepe yarns are fabulous for patterns where you really want to show off uh, stitch definition and those kinds of things. Um, and they're supposed to be harder, longer wearing yarns. Um, so I'm really impressed with this Sirdar number one. So I'll be ordering um, this yarn again. It wasn't on sale, but like I said, I just, I really needed it to finish this project. Um, I wonder if this says how much I paid for it. No. Doesn't say how much I paid for it, but oh, and the colorway is called pistachio. And it's color, that's funny because Usually Sardar doesn't name their their colorways, so I wonder if that's just what Love Knitting calls it. Because it's shade number 223, 223. So I'm looking forward to finishing that gift um, with these five balls, which I won't use all of. Um, like I said, I have enough for a garment there. Um, I'll probably only use two balls and I'll have three balls left. So I can probably get a garment for one of the girls out of three balls. 
because the yardage is pretty good. 230 yards. We'll see. We'll see. Um, the next thing I ordered was... I got two, four, six balls of the King Cole Double Knit Splash. Um, and again, they put it in these cute organza bags. Um, and I got enough to make a, a large size garment for myself. Um, and this is that self-striping yarn that works up into like fair eyely bits. Um, Here's the color. Oh wow, it's picking up a lot of, um, I'm seeing like a lot of corals and oranges in the, um, in the camera. But in real life, it's like gorgeous purples and lilacs, um, and like fuchsias. Um, so this is King Cole Splash DK, um, in shade Romantic. That shade number one one nine four eight, um, and what can I tell you about this yarn? Um, it's a hundred percent acrylic, acrylic, um, three hundred twenty yards per hundred gram ball. Um, it's a double knit. Yeah, it's so soft. Oh my gosh, is it so? And it's so squishy. Sorry, I had to smell it. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. So I got six balls of that. Um, not that I need it, but went in Rome. And then, let's see. The next yarn that I got. Um, okay, so this, this yarn you guys are probably all familiar with. Um... But I've never had it before. And so over the years of YouTubing, I've watched all of you. I know Z loves this yarn. Um, and it's the James Seabrett Marble Chunky. Um, I know Miss Jan loves this yarn. Um, Aaron, uh, Aaron loves this yarn. Give me yarn 418. Um, but I've never had the Marble Chunky. Well, I've, ne I've had James Seabrett yarn, but I've never had his Marble Chunky. So while I was on there, I said, you know what? I'm going to order myself two balls of it and just see what it's like. I don't have a project in mind for it. Um, and it's, the color is MC72. Um, wow, that's impressive for a chunky. So for a chunky yarn, usually chunky yarns have really crummy yardage. But this has 312 meters um, to the ball. 100% acrylic. Um, and it's these gorgeous, again, my favorites, purples and blues and lilacs. And it's just, oh, it's so squishy. Mm, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I'm really happy I decided to get this and I've, I don't know why I've held off over the years buying this because I found the price kind of outrageous um, but now that I'm touching it and I see the yardage um, I think it's really affordable um, so I definitely see more James Seabrook Marble Chunky in my future. Um, and let's see. So that was all the yarn I got. Um, and then I did get one pattern. Maybe I got one pattern. I don't know how many patterns I ordered. Yeah, I only ordered one pattern. And I ordered this pattern, so it's a King Cole pattern, and it's a double knit 4760. Um, 
and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. So it's this um, pullover sweater with like a lace panel down the front and like this gorgeous boat neck but with like ribbing here. Um, and then on the back they've got it in the short sleeve version. Um, I'm not into short sleeves but the white really shows off that lace panel really pretty. Look at that boat neck. This is going to be gorgeous. So, um, don't know when I'll make it, but, um, I couldn't help myself. I just thought this pattern was absolutely beautiful. So, th and I love King Cole patterns. I just, I can't rave enough about them. Um, so it's, uh, and it was, uh, initially it's designed for their King Cole Glitz yarn DK. Obviously, I'll be substituting yarn, but, oh, I can't wait. After the holidays, um, once I get the um, war projects, because I have one, two, I have three war projects that I need to finish. Um, and then my Christmas projects that I need to finish. After the holidays, once everything's out of the way, maybe this might be something for me. Because um, this is really nice. I'm imagining it in like that dusty, dusty pink, that uh, like Victorian rose color. Oh, I'm loving it. So I got this. Um, Finally got the uh, the cardigan off of the needles, um, so that's the finished cardigan. Still have to sew in all those gorgeous ends, um, and I still have to sew up the back of the shawl collar. And like I said, it needs a vigorous block. Um, but that's Alana's cardigan there. Um, and that was done in the ice yarn. Two balls, that's all it took was two balls of that ice yarn. Um, excuse me guys, I'm just getting the pattern for you guys. Um, in case what you were wondering, so that's pattern, that was pattern, uh, bonus Aaron Tweed 2354, um, it's the Hayfield bonus Aaron Tweed. Pattern number 2354. Um, and like I said, I did the uh, the long sleeve version. Um, and I did it in the largest size. Um, so it'll fit a uh, small teenager. Um, and like I said, I did have to adapt the pattern because I worked um, in a, uh, like a UK four ply you know, like a fingering weight yarn. I didn't work, um, I didn't use, I didn't use an Aaron weight. So I had to do, um, I had to adjust the numbers, um, you know, based on my gauge. Um, but I did work it on four mil needles. So um, I'm happy on how the tension came out. Um, you know, it still came out a nice tight weave. It didn't come out holy holy or anything. Um, oh, she's gonna love it. I'm just really excited that I got one Christmas project done. Um, I've decided I'm going to crochet um, the hat and cowl for Avery instead of knitting it just to save on time. And I've got I've got like a pattern in my brain um, on how I want them to look. Um, and then for the misses, um, I'm just going to do um, one of my own patterns um, in that green alpaca yarn that I had gotten from, from Ice. So those will be the, th those will just be the three you know, Christmas things, um, 
that I've been working on, you know, and I have to finish these socks for the giveaway, um, which I will be pulling. I'll be pulling the winner for that sometime next week. I'm not sure what day. Um, I've decided I'm going to experiment with one of those um, random comment pick, random comment pickers and see how that works out. Um, so the socks for the giveaway. Um, uh, ribbed, just a basic two by two ribbed, um, ribbed, what do you call this? Leg, the leg of the sock, um, traditional heel flap and gusset. Um, sorry guys, I work my socks on double points. I just don't do the whole magic loop, circular, yeah. No, I just don't do it. Um, and I really like the the yarn that I chose for this. Um, it's uh, Peyton's Croy Socks. And I haven't seen this colorway before, but it's this, um, it's this pretty, it's like purples and pinks um, with some red in there. It's got some gray. Um, let's see if it's got a color name. It's called Purple Haze. So the lucky winner will get... Um, some yarn and um, a pair of socks. Um, uh, and I get weird. Like sometimes I think, like I was thinking, like should I do like a book or a pattern or something like also in there? Because I want I want to do like a nice. Since I'm only pulling one winner, you know. But I'm like. Sometimes you don't know if my followers are, you know, if they're knitters or crocheters or by stitchwool. And um, essentially, I want to have these finished by next week. So when I pull, when I pull the winner's name, I'll, I'll just want to be able to mail it off uh, as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, if you haven't entered, please go back on the um, gratitude giveaway video and uh, just leave a comment. I don't care if the comment is just hi. You know, you don't have to write anything. Just uh, make sure you get your entry in there. Um, I've really been enjoying I've been watching everybody's vlog misses so far. Um, don't get excited. I'm not participating in that. Um, I've been watching Linny. I've been watching Denise, um, there's quite a few people doing it, um, those are just like two that stand out, oh, and, uh, Nessa, Nessa bought Crochetta, um, I've really been enjoying hers, um, for the simple fact that I think, I love that her vlogmases aren't necessarily, you know, I mean, she's one of us, you know, she's a knitter, she's a crocheter, um, she's a crafter, but um, she's just trying to do it for a week, I guess, um, to just try to have something to, like, follow through with in her life, you know, which I think is awesome, and I'm going to send positive vibes her way, but I love that it's not necessarily um, knitting and crochet. I feel like we're getting to know her. Um through the, the vlogmases that she's done so far. Um, so I've really enjoyed hers. Um, my Yarn Mistress Z, of course, she's doing the vlogmas, I think. Um, although poor Z, she's been sick as a dog. Um, so I hope she heals up soon. Yeah, I feel so bad, you know. And it's, it's so strange to me because I always think, you know, people who live in better climates than I do that they don't get sick in the winter. But it's just not true. I mean, germs are germs and they're everywhere. Um, but yeah, I just, I've been working a lot, um, like I said, at the job. Um, we've been kind of short-staffed in the salon end. Um, you know, the store hired up extra associates on the retail end for the holidays. Um, but we're still short um, hairstylists in the salon. Um, so I've just been working a lot of overtime hours, you know. 
And uh, some of these younger kids that I work with, um, you know, they're just starting out their careers and I don't know if they just don't have the same dedication that my generation and previous generations did, but they're just not, you know, they're constantly calling out, you know, their ass hurts, their ear hurts, their whatever hurts, you know, uh, chronically late to work, you know, whatever their tissues are. Um, so I'm the only full timer. Um, and I never say no to overtime, so anytime they ask me to stay an extra shift or come in on my day off, um, I've been ending up there. I've also been doing a lot of doubles, which um, it's, it's running me down a little bit, but I love it. Um, and I'm really enjoying the company that I'm working for. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot about makeup um, and skin care, um, you know, so... It's nice, you know, and it's it's also nice not to be in management anymore. I get to relax. Um, I don't have to worry about what other people are doing other than myself. Um, you know, so that's been good. What else can I tell you guys? Um, tonight was the first night of Advent. Um, well, today was. So I was pretty at church while we were setting up for Mass. Um <clears throat> lighten up the, uh, the, uh, you know, the Advent wreath with the, uh, with the candles. I always love seeing that every year. I also love my church. It's kind of traditional. Um, so, um, during Advent and during Lent, um, all the, um, the responsal, like the sung responses, um, things like uh, the Gloria or the Gospel um, Acclamation or like the Hosanna, um, we sing them in Latin, um, which I really enjoy. Um, so that was really pretty to hear tonight um, at Mass. Um, I mean, we always sing the Agnus Dei in Latin. Um, but it's just I really I really like hearing it in Latin. Sometimes I wish that they would just use the Latin all year round, but um, it's always nice. Um, oh, just been taking it a day at a time. Um, like I said last night, I was just way too pooped to do this video. Um, I feel like I haven't gotten much knitting done. It's just the salon has been a zoo. Um, and I was actually really surprised at that because generally speaking, after the holiday, um, so like after Thanksgiving, you know, we were slow, but then it picked right back up again. Um, and then usually, you know, salons stay kind of dead until like that week or two before Christmas, although. I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but I'll be going home to Puerto Rico for Christmas. So I've got all my regular people coming in a little bit earlier um, so that, you know, they can have their hair color fresh and, you know, not have roots and things like that. Because I leave the 22nd of December um, and I'll be gone that week. Um, so everybody's trying to get in and have their hair done so that they look good for Christmas. Um, which I've always found kind of funny, you know. Um, I mean, not that you shouldn't look pretty all the time, but we spend so much time uh, preening ourselves and trying to spend all this money on gifts and all this kind of stuff for the holidays. And most people are together with their families for only a couple of hours and don't see them again until the next year, you know. It's like, don't you know that your sister has gray hair too, you know? You know, and she was at the hair salon the week before, just like you were covering her grays, but who cares, you know? Um, I can't complain, though. It's what keeps me in business, and it what, it's what feeds my family, so I have to be grateful. But I just, like, sometimes I wish that it wasn't so, so commercial and so, 
you know, so driven by, by money, you know. Um, also, uh, I'd mentioned this because uh, I just looked over and I just saw over there on my little table is I have to fill out my Christmas cards. Um, so for a couple of years there, I had stopped doing Christmas cards because I felt like nobody did Christmas cards anymore. I, I mean, I certainly was not receiving Christmas cards the way I used to. Um, I mean, I'm lucky if I receive two Christmas cards um, anymore, you know. Um, but I was at the store and I saw a big pack of Christmas cards and I said to myself, you know what, it's just, I, I think I need to get back into doing Christmas cards and just more for me and just knowing that I'm reminding people that I'm thinking of them and that I love them this time of year is what's more important. And so that's why I decided that I'm going to do Christmas cards again this year. Um, even though I took a, a little break for, I think it's been about two years since I did Christmas cards. And before then, I mean, we always did Christmas cards for everybody, you know. Um, but, you know, I said I, I got to a bad place where I was just like, you know what, screw this. I'm not going to waste my money. I'm not going to waste stamps sending out Christmas cards that people might not even read or just throw away. But I said, you know what, I think... I know how much I love receiving something in the mail, so I'm going to be sending out my Christmas cards again this year. So don't be surprised. You select special few, um, not to exclude anybody, but my ladies know who they are. If uh, within the next couple weeks you receive a Christmas card from me, um, if I can find your addresses because they're in that safe place, you know, uh, I love how Miss Jan calls it that safe place because I do that all the time. I put things in a safe place and I had a little address book, you know, with telephone numbers and addresses and I had like Jan's address in there, Cheyenne's address in there, Z's address in there um, and it's in that safe place and I don't remember where that safe place is. So I might have to reach out to people and ask them their addresses again um, so I can get out some, get out my Christmas cards and things. Um, but yeah, Mass was really nice tonight. The readings were pretty. Um, I have a great priest. Um, I love him dearly. Um, he's just such a good holy priest. Um, he does a lot of work with the homeless. Um, he runs a soup, a soup kitchen. Um, he runs a sober house, um, for men in recovery. Um, he just does a lot, but, you know, you can definitely tell that he's getting older and getting run down. Um, I've never seen him with a cane before, and today he was walking with a cane, so. Oh, it was, it was sad to see Father Madden with a cane, but. I love him so, so much. He's just such a good, holy priest. Um, you know, just somebody that you can always rely on, you know. And for the first time ever tonight, you know, I'm a Eucharistic minister at church, so I help um, give out the Blessed Sacrament. And uh, for the first time, and I've belonged to that parish now for about 10 years is the first time that I ever saw that he wasn't able to serve Mass. I mean, obviously he did the consecration and everything, but because his legs were so weak, he um, he had just, um, just Eucharistic ministers um, giving out the Blessed Sacrament. Um, you know, and while we were giving out the Blessed Sacrament, he had to go and sit down because um, his legs were unsteady. Um, so, I don't know. It's just, it's tough watching people get old, you know, people that you love. Um, and you kind of think they're immune, you know? You know, like, I, and I've joked with him before, and I've always said, I said, Father Madden, you know, I mean, and I, I know he's in his, uh, I think he's in his mid, mid-60s. Um, 
you know, so he's still young, but, you know, um, I said to him, I said, you know, you have to outlive me because you're the one who has to do my funeral mass, you know? And I, I mean, I know it's kind of macabre and morbid to talk about these kinds of things, but, you know, I wonder about these things, like who's going to be the priest that says my funeral mass, you know? I mean, God knows how old I'll be when I get there, but, you know, in my dreams, he would be the one saying my funeral mass, but that would mean that he would be, you know, knock wood, I live, you know, I live another 40 years, <laughs> let's pretend, you know, um, in 40 years, let's see, that would make him, if he's in his mid-60s, he'd be, you know, 100, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I don't know if he'll be able to say my funeral mass by then, but, you know, fingers crossed, um, and knock wood, Father Madden will still be alive, um, when I'm in my 80s or 90s and ready to meet Jesus, um, and, uh, like I said, he'll, he'll be well past 100, and he better still be alive to say my funeral mass, um. Uh, but I'm just running my mouth now and talking nonsense and probably boring you guys. But I just wanted to let you guys know how I was doing. Um, just catch you guys up on what I've been up to. Like I said, I haven't been doing much knitting. Um, I really should have had that cowl and hat done by now. Um, I should have had this sock well done by now. Because I'm usually a much faster knitter. And I know I said I'm taking... My time, I'm trying to slow down, um, but uh, I shouldn't be going. Slowing down doesn't mean I shouldn't, um, I shouldn't be working on my knitting and crochet, <laughs> per se. Um, especially since I have a whole nother sweater to start um, for Christmas. Um, I have gotten quite a bit of the girls' Christmas shopping done, um, so their gifts are well on their way. I've got about mm, three quarters of both of their Christmas lists knocked off, um, so I'm happy about that. Um, and thank God I haven't had to put anything on a credit card so far this year, so um, I'm really happy about that. You know, I'm just I don't want to go into the new year in debt. Um, you know, I've done that for way too many years, you know, just going overboard on the kids' Christmas and, um, you know, then kicking myself in January with this ridiculous credit card bill. Um, and so what I've been doing is just every week buying a couple things here and there, um, you know, with my tip money. Um, and, uh. It's just, it's really worked out, you know, and I started early. I started there, I started the shopping in October, um, instead of waiting until, you know, the first week of December to start the Christmas shopping. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, work, 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 no play. Um, like I said, I look forward to seeing more of your vlogmases. Um, I'm not sure what day I'll do the drawing next week, but someday next week I'll do the, uh, the drawing for the giveaway. Um, fingers crossed, knock wood, the socks will be done by then. Um... I'm almost thinking I should just work exclusively on these just to try to get them done before I even uh, cast on the hat and cowl. Even though I know the hat and cowl will be like a one day project because the crochet just works so, um, works up so fast. Um, I mean it takes what, an hour or two to crochet a hat? Um, who was it the other day? I think it was Z. She was talking about that. She had done some hats or something. And, uh, 
she did those wicked fast. She just did those in a couple hours. Um, but I hope you're all doing okay. Sending you lots of love, positive thoughts. Um, I hope you don't mind that I've been blabbing on for 40 minutes now um, and not saying much of anything. <laughs> well, nothing important, really. Um, but uh, just checking in. Comment below. Let me know what you guys have been up to. What are you guys working on? Um, have you guys gotten your Christmas shopping done yet? Um, and uh, Z, Cheyenne, Jan, Kim, um, if you watch this video and you make it to the very end, um, could you please message me? Um, most of you, I think, have me on Facebook or whatever. Um, although Z, Z's not on Facebook, so I'm not sure how I'll get into contact with her. Um, but message me and send me your addresses again, because like I said, they're in that safe place right now. And, um, I don't remember where it is. Um, so I hope you all have a great night. Um, I love you all. Um, God bless you. May the Virgin Mary watch over you all tonight. Um, have a blessed Advent. Um, love you guys. Bye.